Hello everybody, my name is Cirque, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Now I just want you to uh, take in this image here. Just appreciate this. Look at this. It's a beautiful village. It's got some weird stuff going on. Uh, this house is like, has a, or it's like split in half. There's a farm that kind of goes into the hill there. You have a nice background of tall uh, fir or yeah I believe those are fir trees and a sweet volcano just rising up look at that sight oh this is why I love feed the beast just beautiful landscapes like this um, which is why I came out here and built some stuff in the volcano obviously because where else would you build around here besides in this freaking volcano now this Volcano was kind of weird because it actually sprouted up around uh, some trees. So there was actually a tree like right in the middle of this, which is why it was hollowed, hollowed out. Um, well, there's another tree that's kind of part, partially burnt up. I haven't cleaned that one up. There's a tree right here and another tree right in here as well. So it's kind of interesting how the volcano formed around it. Um, but yes. So, the reason why I built this over here is th that this is going to be my Thaumcraft um, base of operations, I suppose. Even got some uh, some lava there. I believe that's like the center of the volcano. That's the lava that's supposed to be like shooting up from the bowels of the earth. But yes, in here, I'm going to set up my Thaumcraft stuff. We're going to start playing around with Thaumcraft. I have some of the stuff that we should need. Um, or the stuff, yeah. I have the stuff that we sh I think we need to start out Thaumcraft. I have looked into just like how to get started. Beyond that, I don't know anything about Thaumcraft except you can make cool magical things. Um, yeah, and I brought over, I believe all of this stuff is Thaumcraft stuff. I'm, I would, yeah, I've heard that Amber is Thaumcraft. I don't know what else it would be used for. The Wisps, I'm pretty sure are Thaumcraft. Uh, Silverwood, I'm pretty sure is Thaumcraft. And the Zombie Brains, these Knowledge Fragments. And these Shards. So, I think we have everything over here. So the first step in Thaumcraft is to make a wand. So I got some wood here and we need a stick and need a gold nugget and then we need a shard and it can be any shard. Uh, I think we will use, um, let's use a fire shard. Actually, what's this one? Uh, let's use the Viz shard. It doesn't really matter for our first wand, but uh, anyway, so we have a wand of the apprentice, which is the first wand that you start out with, uh, and then so this stuff, yeah, this thing, it's a wand. It's charging up, I guess. It's getting some Viz from the surrounding area. We got 48 Viz. Oh, and uh, one reason why I s decided to make a base out here. Oh, now we have 50 viz. Um, make a base out here instead of doing Thumbcraft at my base, which is 3,000 meters away. Well, for one, because this place looks awesome. And number two is because um, Thumbcraft can mess with the magical energy of an area. And I don't really want to mess with the magical energy around my base because I've heard that if you, um, what's it called, like flux, if you get a lot of flux built up in your area, which is has to do with like a distortion of the magical energy or something, if you get a lot of flux built up, you can have like really bad lightning storms, you can have things just exploding, and it's not good. So I'd rather keep that away from my base, keep it away from all my stuff, and so we are out here. So... Now that I have a wand, um, I know one thing that I can 
do is use it on a bookshelf like that and now I got a Thaumonomicon and this thing um, I'm pretty sure this thing is like an achievements um, it's like a it's like the achievements that you see on here except it's just for um, Thaumcraft so it kind of helps you or it kind of guides you helps you out so so apparently I have all this research completed that must just be uh, stuff that you get uh, right away so I have great wood trees um, those are good for stuff their wood is able to absorb impressive amounts of magic making it making it a popular component in the crafting of magical constructs and devices aspects of magic um, I know the aspects have to do with uh, if you hold shift while you have your mouse over an item all of those items that appear on the top there are the different aspects and those help you in researching items let's see we have the aura I don't know what that is it's a magical field I guess field of magical energy prevalent throughout the world uh, we're not gonna go through and read all this I'll do that on my own time silverwood trees I know those are good for actually uh, for absorbing flux or for decreasing flux which make so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna wanna plant those around so using magic is never without risk and nothing proves this as much as flux if the magical aura can be described as a still pool flux is the ripples and eddies caused by a rock dropped into it it is not a corruption of the magic but a disturbance order turning to chaos and the neutral laws being turned on their head so we don't want flux because that uh, is bad uh, shimmer leaf and yeah those are your flowers that give you quick silver. I have some quick silver that I've gotten from the shimmer leaf flowers. Uh, infused ore. Those are the ores that give you the shards. Cinder pearl. I think yeah, those give you blaze powder. Those are found in the desert, and I've found a few of those. Let's see knowledge fragments. You can use those to make research notes. I have quite a few of those, I believe. 16 not too many but I do have some uh, tables let's see there's new enchantments that this adds haste repair I'm using haste on my boots right now uh, lots of wand um, enchantments let's see research table so yeah that's we're gonna have to make one of those in fact we can do that right now I think so a research table, we have to make a regular table, which is just wood and slabs. So let's get some wood. Oop. Get some slabs. And we're going to need two of these. Actually, we're going to need like three of those. So let's make some more. Now let's just turn this all into wood, wooden planks. And then make some more slabs. And then we're going to need one more table. So now let's, uh, let's stick the table over here. So if we do that and use a wand on it, it turns into an arcane work table I believe this is I don't know what it does it kinda looks like a crafting table so maybe that's what it is it just uh, crafts things um, and I'll just take my wand right now because I don't need it in there Let's see what else do we need I wonder if we can make stuff in here so we need scribing tools yep we can make can we make any normal item in here? Let's see, what else could I craft with this stuff? Let's see. Let's get some wood. 
I'm just curious if this works like a regular crafting table. Oh, it does. So that's interesting. And then I guess it also makes magical items when you have a wand in it. Um, so now we also need another table, and then we need to use the research or the scribing tools on it. So now we have a research table. That is what this is. And now we need to research something, I suppose. Let's look at the Thumbnomicon. Okay. Crucible. We might need one of those. Let's see. It's an important tool for any thaumaturge. It allows him to render physical objects into their component essentia and recombine it again as he wishes. The crucible needs to be placed over a source of constant heat and filled with water. Once the start or once the water starts boiling, you simply simply throw any items you wish to break down into the crucible and they will be broken down into their component essentia. You can then use a wand on the crucible if you got the ratio amount of essentia right. It er, wait, what? Amount if let's see. And if you got the ratio and amount of essentia right, it you might be able to craft something. Any leftover essentia is simply spilled into the local aura where it forms flux. If you sneak while clicking with a wand, you will not attempt to craft something and directly spill the essentia into the aura. This may seem counterproductive for now. So I'm guessing that's so that you can maybe counteract some essentia that you've spilled into the aura or whatever. Local aura. Maybe reduce flux using that. Let's see, if you're planning on experimenting with Crucible, it's a good idea to keep scribing tools and paper handy in case you discover something. Uh, let's see, so the glass file. They're capable of holding all manners of liquids and substances, but the most important is the Thaumaturge is their ability to hold Essentia. So you need those to hold Essentia. Well... Let's just hop right into the research table then, I guess. Let's see what it does. Um, so we can make research notes from those knowledge fragments. So let's do that real quick. So we just need that. We got research notes. Stick those in here somewhere. And then... Do we need a wand in here? Whoa, what happened? Thorough cursory. I don't know what that means. I um, wonder if I need paper in here. Alright, so I got some paper, and it looks like I can stick it in here. So now what does this do? So now I got research notes, and it has a bunch of gibberish on there. It's 40% complete. So now I believe what we need to do is figure out... Let's see. So yeah, we have the Cognitio. So now we need to figure out what other aspects we need for this. So I have the zombie brain. Let's try this. So that didn't seem to do anything. What about this? Um, so that's not doing anything at all. Okay, so I just used an ender pearl, and it did this, Obscurus. So I don't know what that means if one of these is the aspect um, but it doesn't, oh, there it did something. So now I got two Obscurus, and it moved the Cognitio down here. Um, okay. So now we have, so that was one of them, the, uh, Precancio. 
Magic sorcery. So now it's at 62%. Let's use another ender pearl. Nope, that one didn't do it. Okay, now it's moving farther. Oh, and we have uh, mechan machina, some mechanism device. Let's try and get this one to 100%. There, so now we have the pre Precantio at 100%, so now we need the machina. Do I have anything with machina here? Yes, redstone. So let's try this. Um, what about thorough? Does that do anything? So now that's moved up, although it doesn't have a percentage. Okay, I got some more redstone. So let's see what this does, if anything. So now it's at 75%. Let's try it again. And 100%. So, that, yes. So now we have our discovery. So that's pretty cool. Let's look at it. You believe this mystical device will point you in the direction of nearby sources of mystical energy. So now, um, now what do we do, I suppose? Does this say at all what to do with the discoveries? Okay, so I need to right click this. So now research completed, we have a thermometer. Or we can make a thermometer. So now if we look at our thermicon, so it's right here, the magical detector. So now it will show us how to make one. So let's get some gold. All right, so I got my gold and my water shard. So it was just like this. Oh, like that and then we probably need to put the wand in there so it costs 20 viz to make and we have our first uh, researched item I don't know what it does it seems to be pointing seems to be pointing towards something magical let's go check it out uh, let's see so it's pointing this way Let's see anything. And it's pointing right down, like right down here. So yeah, it's like right in this area. There's something, something magical. I'm guessing it's some kind of node. Uh, I've heard of those before. And I think to see those, you actually need like goggles of revealing to be able to see them. But I'm assuming that that is what this thing is pointing at, because it's it's right in this area, but we can't see it. All right, so we have our first researched item. Uh, I don't know if I really know what's going on yet. This is definitely strange stuff. It's um, probably hard to get used to, hard to learn. But I'm sure once you get used to it, researching is a little bit easier. So let's uh, try and find something else. So we need some paper. Okay, so we have Obscurus. All right, and the Obscurus, I'm assuming, just means that we don't really know what the aspect is yet, but we're getting close to it. So let's try this again. Okay, so we have Karas. Which, let's see if we have, yeah, the gold also has the Karas. It has a lot more, so let's try using gold. And now we also have an, another Obscurus, which I'm guessing is the Metallum. So, oh, what are we, basic transmutation. So let's keep researching. Yep, so now we have the Metallum as well. So now let's keep using these until so the Karis is all at a hundred percent um I think if we had iron that would get the metallum up so let's go get iron 
Alright, so yeah, the iron has eight metallum. So that should get it up pretty quickly here. So that's at 100%. And now, ooh, we also have permutatio, exchange change barter. So do we have anything with permutatio? I think I know one thing that might be permutatio. Let's see if I'm right. Ooh, I'm, I am. Emeralds, of course. So let's go try the emeralds out. I don't know what else would be per have permutatio. I'm not sure what things would really be associated with exchanging. So we'll use the emeralds. So that is at 100% and our we have a new discovery. Basic transmutation. By studying the rudiments of alchemy and the properties of metals, you think you might have stumbled upon a way to transform base metals into gold. Ooh. Interesting. So let's right click on that and learn it. So now, basic transmutation. Uh, you are now able to transform basic metals like iron into gold nuggets. The transformation is not without cost and loss, however, but one can never have too much gold, can one? So that is pretty much useless. <laughs> uh, well, that's kind of lame. So it looks like you can, um, actually I'm not sure, because you need metallum and charis, but I thought the charis was only in the gold. Iron just has metallum, so I'm not even sure how you do that. I mean, I know it's in a crucible here, and you need, yeah, two metallum and one charis aspect equals two gold nuggets. So that's not really helpful, not really useful at all. Uh, but let's try something else now. Okay, we got Obscurus from Redstone. Let's try this again. See if we can get an aspect. Come on. There we go. So now we have Potentia, Power, Energy, Strength. So let's just keep researching the redstone until we get that all the way up. So now we have Potentia. And what are we researching? Ooh, Nitor. Which I actually know kind of what those are. I had some of those. So are those the red ones or... Yeah, these must be the Nitor. And they're basically lights. Uh, so I... So maybe a torch. Lux. Because these are lights. So let's try this out. Um, yep. So it also has light. Ooh, and another one showed up. Which, I don't understand that. Because there's only one aspect here, the Lux. So I'm not sure how we get more than one Obscurus. Unless... Ooh. Uh, no, yeah, I don't understand it. So let's get this all the way up. Is that 50%? Come on. Quit using up all my torches. There we go. So now we have Lux all the way. Oh, and we have Ignis. Fire. So I know cooked meat has Ignis. Is there what else would have Ignis? Ooh, gunpowder. And it has a bonus. Yes. These uh, glowing numbers means that for some reason, it has a bo bonus in this area. Maybe because we're in a volcano. So the fire has a bonus. So that went really quickly. Oh, we didn't even use up the gunpowder, so that's nice. So now we have Nitor, which is cool because these are pretty cool lights. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. The number of uses for an ever-burning flame seems endless, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to produce much heat, though it could provide to be a steady source of light and energy. I wonder what it means by energy, because I know you can get, you can use them as lights. Uh, so let's look at this. So it looks like you need uh, four potentia, six lux, and four ignis in a crucible, and that will make light ore. All right. So I think I think we've uh, played around with Thalmcraft enough for today. We got a few things figured out, researched 
three things we can now make. Uh, we can turn iron and or we can make gold nuggets. We can make night ore and we can make or we made this thermometer. So that is pretty cool. Good introduction to thumbcraft, I'd say. And I think I'm starting to get the hang of this research thing, which is going to be helpful in the f in uh, future exploration of thumbcraft. And so yeah, I think next time we will uh, look into getting a crucible and start playing around with making stuff like the nitor. We could even try making the gold nuggets to see how it how that works. Um, but anyways. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any advice or questions for me, make sure to leave them in the comments below and hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Until next time, goodbye, peoples.